All right, welcome to Chancla Talk, where we talk about movies, shows, games, geeky topics. And today with us, you have Grotesque, uh, our team captain, Lily Rose, myself, Grumpy, and we have Tower of Sword with us. Yeah. Yes. So today's topic. So a question for you guys. Have you ever wanted to go back and forth in life? Or do you luck? There's a games type of game <laughs> called Metrovania, so where you can waste your life going back and forth. I didn't call it a waste of life. Why would you say <laughs> <laughs> going back and forth? Wow. It's more trying to solve a puzzle or like oh. an adventure, not a waste. It's it's Metrovania's feel like whenever I leave in the morning and I forget my ID and I have to turn back. This is why this isn't your topic. And I, and I forget my coffee, then I have to come back. <laughs> First of all, why are you forgetting so many things, including your coffee? That's what coffee? I'm saying. That's metrovanians for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. I have to go with all the side. Oh, yeah. But you see, whenever you got your coffee, you unlocked a new happiness. You have now caffeine in your system and exactly. you have a new power to stay okay. awake for it at work. Now you, you can see? fake smile. That's your new ability. <laughs> 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 That's the magic of metrovanians. <laughs> So okay. to be honest with you guys, I had no idea what a Metrovania was as of a year ago. So this is because I we know I this. I was playing FPS and a bunch of shit, right? So I had like Tower and Grotesque had to explain yes. to me. To you, only one game exists. What the hell? Yeah, I just call Call of Duty. And Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Metrovania, what it was. So, see, si aquí tenemos a Tower. Who could break it down a little bit better for us? Uh, he explained it to me. Yes. <laughs> sure. I, I love the introduction <laughs> and the <laughs> Metrovania definition. Uh, you for sure don't like the nonlinear stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Metrovania, in essence, is basically a guided nonlinear uh, exploration and progression game. So what it means guided, and that's that's one of the points that people get confused, is like it's not linear, but it's still guided. Um mm -hmm. the developer or designers are pushing you to where they want you to go, but in a more flexible way. It's more like exploration, it's more open for you. Um maybe there's a gate and then you need a power or you need something specific that is in the opposite side of the map. And that's what it means guided. It's like, okay, they're gonna encounter a wall then eventually they're going to come back with something different in order for them to progress to the wall maybe climbing maybe breaking the wall or stuff like that mm -hmm. but in essence it's just a normal non-linear type of game but it's gated and guided you know it's like the developer is playing a little bit of psychology game with the players and this is not easy to to accomplish um because you know you need to guide the user but the user should feel that he had the flexibility of doing whatever they want. Yeah. But internally, there's a guide. You know, the guide could be like, for example, mentioning random example is like you open a door, there's a cave, and it's pitch black. So you need a flashlight or you need some kind of light source. That's the developer telling you, hey, you're going to come back here later. For now, just get lost, you know, get the hell out of here. Um, mm -hmm. Then you encounter a wall. Then, oh, now I need double jump or mm -hmm. I need a tool. Then he's limiting your options to where to go. And eventually you're like, okay, I spent three hours. This this world is huge, but just the developer just trades it around for you. <laughs> you don't see it because that's the fun part. That's that's the challenge of doing the Metrovania. So again, typical scenario of a Metrovania, they, they're a massive, normally it's a massive map with interconnected uh, worlds or, or rooms or any any kind of connectivity mm -hmm. that the player can explore. And in any corner, you can encounter a block or a gate system. That will be, you need something uh, to overcome the challenges or you need something to open the door, stuff like that. So it could come in different flavors. Um, some games use um, story elements that you need to talk to someone first before coming to x or y point so the story progress and open the the path 
other games use weapons, other games use abilities or just random items that you need to craft. So, mm-hmm. but the, the the maps are connected and normally you have different biomes, different scenarios like you can have a dark area, you can have a snow area, you know, lava or you know, on the ground area. Um, but all of them are connected. And that's in essence what it is, but it's it's, it's a non-linear platform game with gating system. That's that's basically it. Yeah. That's the perfect. I mean, the first time you explained it to me, and I think I told you this, but you said no, that that's not the right answer. <laughs> I thought of it as a two D open world when you said no, that's that's not how you're thinking about it. But I still think that's sort of makes sense, right? In a way, yeah. <clears throat> it feels yeah, like you like you have like flexibility to explore, but eventually you feel like super that like you get stuck somewhere and then you're like oh i'm gonna need double jump for this so you know you have to go back and go somewhere and find or kill something to finally get the ability to double jump or something it's like it's it's to a certain point like you're free to roam Uh but you need something yeah it's it's a little bit more platformer because it's kind of that you got to go back and forth you can't really go to the side and exactly it's 2d yeah but that's not the final (laughs) That's not the final <laughs> definition in, in the sense of there's a lot of pretty It's not open games. world. You can adventure, but no, it's not open world. It's open world 2D, right? It's the same as no. like Breath of the Wild. If I go no. to a bad place, no. they, they kill me. It's like, fucker, you don't have double jump or something. Come back later. Breath of the Wild is not. Okay, well, yeah, but it's 2D. I'm saying like it's... It, it feels, yeah, it, it, it does in essence have that. And oh, it's Jester. Hi, Jester. Jester. Welcome, Jester. Estamos hablando de Metroidvanias today. <clears throat> yep, Metroidvanias. Um, I say it's but, open world 2D, but uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't think we we need to. We can call it 2D or 3D <laughs> because um, I know Metroid. Uh-huh. Yeah, because Metroid Prime, Prime are 3D. I feel Metroid like it's a confusing 3D? topic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about the, the, the graphic or the perspective. It's about mechanics. It's about the gameplay design. Um, because, for example, Metro was the game that uh, polished the nonlinear platforming game style. Like, you know, adding those gate systems. Like, oh, now I need a rocket to open this, this door. So let me go back. There should be a path that I missed. Right, mm-hmm. it's not linear for that sense. Um, Castlevania, uh, I think it was Simon's Quest in 1987, something like that, was trying to do the same thing with Castlevania, and it was a little bit more like Zelda 2, I think. So it is it went out of the traditional for for the games in Castlevania or Zelda. But they were trying to do more RPG stuff. It's a two game, but they were doing something that is not only, oh, I'm stuck in a dungeon, I need to go from point A to point B. It's like, oh, now I have a town. Now I can go and buy something or talk to the townspeople. Yeah. So they tried to do the same thing, trying to change that non-linear path. But then when Super Metroid in 1994 came out, that's where, where they actually polished the, the structure of, you know, the design elements of non-linear gameplay. Yeah. With hey, I, I require this power, X or Y power to open X or Y door, stuff like that. So there's a lot of back and forth in in the open war map. Basically, it's still locked, it's still gated, but there's a lot of routes that I can take, and depending what ability I have at the moment, um, then Symphony of the Night, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, 1997, they just added this Zelda. Juice power basically. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, let's add XP elements, let's add different weapon system. You know, mm-hmm. change your weapon, change your gear. Now you level up, now you have transformation, now you have a lot of stuff, but still absorbing what Metroid did. You know, it's yeah, not I linear, mean, yeah. but let's let add all these mm-hmm. gameplay elements from Zelda and, uh, and, and their own games. And and I think that that's what the whole Metroidvania came in into place after Symphony of the Night, because it was the whole combination. But really quick before continuing, two D or three D doesn't matter. 
Um, Castlevania had 3D games. Very good games are Metroidvania as well. Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3 are 3D mm-hmm. games, first person. Mm-hmm. And they still re- they still keep their Metroidvania essence. Nothing yeah. changes. The same structure is just a different uh, camera view. That is true. It's interesting. So yeah, the, I mean, the name says it, Metroidvania. So the, the it's a mix of like what came to be from those games. No? In a way? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's basically like, hey, I'm a fan of Metroid. I want to do the same. Let me add my touch to it. But, but hey, I'm a fan of Zelda as well. Let me mix this together. You know, it's, it's like nice creating mix. a new formula. I like it. It became one of my favorite um, genres of games. Mm-hmm. Really fun. So yeah, este so, super, super Metroid. So entre... So, ¿Qué elementos de Super Metroid cogió Metroidvania? ¿Es el back and forth area? Or... Yeah, el non-linear platforming elements. Okay. Sería, sería interesante como distinguir la diferencia entre lo que cogió de Super, de super Metroid versus lo que cogió de Castlevania, ¿verdad? Porque estos juegos no son lo mismo, ¿verdad? They're not the no. same. No, they're very different. No. So ya Castlevania, mm-hmm. it brings in the elements that get, you have Aquí era bien diferente, ¿verdad? It's like you yes. have, like, all of a sudden you have to, it has a sort of, like, like a kind of loose system. Like, it, what you pick up, also, you have different weapons, different things, and it changes the style of how you play también. Um, Like, you yes. still need those elements. Like, you need to, like, kill a boss, and you still need to, like, need that item to, or that power to do, to reach a certain area. Pero también trae elementos de que you need, like, maybe, um, like, you can use certain um, items to, like, I don't know, shift differently or move differently or, este, you know, certain ways of attacking are different, too. Different swords, different uh, weapons. Yeah. And you have transformation as well. You yes. can transform into a wolf, a bat, and, and a mist. And those are to overcome obstacles. Like the bats is to go higher, get places that you normally don't reach. The miss is to go through some gates. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, but go, going to Dele, uh, Grumpy's question, mm-hmm. um, I think what they got from which is like, if, if you see the original Metroid, it's just like you, you're a character, you have a blaster in your hand, so you shoot some kind of orbs, um, blast orbs or, or whatever. You're shooting something. Uh-huh. And Castlevania, in contrast, it's just you're just a random dude with a whip, right? You're going to kill vampires. Uh, you're from a lineage of vampire hunters. So Castlevania was from point A to B. It's just straightforward. Okay, let's overcome this this level and at the end you are expecting a boss right mm-hmm. yeah straightforward there's no way for you to go back there's no way for you once you enter a room you kind of go back stuff like that mm-hmm. and metroid you could just the, the whole map for you open mm-hmm. in a way but it's just gated you know you yes. need a power to access certain area you need a an ability or or a different rocket um, and that's what they got from metroid that instead of just going from point A to B, uh, I beat the boss and let me go to level two uh, or level three, four, five. Oh, I got to the last boss. Like, I don't know if you remember Mega Man. Yeah. It's basically level based game instead of being like, oh, it's a full map interconnected. Yeah. Exactly. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Oh. I'm very grateful for uh, it's a mixture of the Metroid from Pennsylvania. Yes. Some very awesome games can sell you recently. Mm-hmm. Some so, some of the games that we like yeah. or that we have come to play it have been tops. So, we're going to be talking about those. Jester, um, feel free to comment. See if you. Yeah, welcome to, yeah, the, welcome to the conversation. Also. You can talk about it. Si hay algo de algún juego que, te, que mencionamos okay. que you like, you can talk about it. And yeah, feel free to talk with us. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, that up, yeah. Feel free to correct us. And then, <laughs> okay. So, and uh, one of the games which I have streamed before and everything, like it, it's I, I like this game. Uh, Bloodstain is one of them. And <laughs> La Carita <laughs> <laughs> La Caritaza? What? <laughs> what's his name? Yeah, what's his I name? I know Tower wants to say it. Oh, I said it already. <laughs> so, now it's up to you. Say <laughs> it. You get at you? Yeah, so, for case, uh, blood stain, right? Yes. Are you making? Mm-hmm. So he was uh, part of the one, I mean, one of the tops one, Bella. Que, uh, symphony. Symphony of the name, yeah. So el, he got out of the company and then he saw este on Kickstarter, right, for this game. Um yep. and it went nuts. He did like this whole cool video, which was really, really cool. And uh yeah, he, he made it happen and everybody was just praising it and was dying to see the game happen and it happened. So it was it was different. I have to admit when I saw it, like when he did like the style of the art. Um, at first I was like, why is this art like that? And um, it was weird to me at first. But uh, I started to like it and then once I started playing it, it it's it's always very addictive. It is you have to like kind of farm. It's it's different because it's like it's Castlevania, right? It's like Castlevania. You yeah. need to kind of level it up a little to be able to push further and uh be able to hit more or sorry jester this is all we are see can mejor metrovania existente a hollow knight see the hollow knight we're gonna talk about it that's gonna be one yep. of it um <laughs> but see i know um tower obviously played this game also oh yeah what do you think about this one um I just like the honesty of the developer. Um, when he launched the Kickstarter campaign and all the stuff, people, the beta tester, were complaining and all that crap. Like they were roasting the game, and he used all those comments and he made a trailer with everybody complaining. And oh, I nice. love that because that means a lot. Like, okay, I'm getting your feedback, but I'm fixing the game. But now I'm making a trailer showing what you told me, you know, bad words and stuff like that. People were cursing, like, oh, this look, this sock looks, looks super bad. The graphic looks awful. And he accepted it. Yeah, they do look awful, but let me change that. So he made a promotional trailer using all the complaints and how it used to look and how it looks now before launch. So, so he was very open in that and, and he made fun of everything in the sense he never went against any any of the people that were criticizing the game yeah. super bad. I remember but that. But regarding the game itself, it's just a simple uh, Symphony of the Night. Um, you have a lot of stuff that you will never use. So it's like one of these games that you find a weapon that you like and you stick with that weapon for the rest of the game. I do. Even like though that. there's like 200 weapons in the game. And yes, uh, I changed a lot of the weapons, but it was more experimental than I ended up getting going back to the same one. Mm-hmm. Um, not like Symphony of the Night that you can have multiple other options and they kind of work better depending oh. on the boss. So this one, I found out that some of the bosses were like either really big on the screen and okay, you need a faster weapon or you need something with more reach. So you're kind of limited of what to use. Um, I feel like the variety but, here was more on the magic, no? The magic on is the magic, yeah. Rather exactly. than the weapon. The weapon is more like, what do you like of the weapon? Just choose one. But the, the abilities exactly. of like the magic skills, uh, the little that you, you start unlocking every time you kill more monsters. The more you kill monsters, then they kind of drop this um, magic skill for you. And you can kind of change it up. So I think that's that's really creative. I like it. So. Yeah, they level up by using them, by um, 
depending on the magic, some of them is absorbing the same magic again. So it's it's a drop system. Um, they get stronger. Um, but yeah, definitely the magic I use most of them. So it's it's a really good game. Yeah. So another one que no gusta montón. Uh, and I think the art style of this one is beautiful. Is Guacamole. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Fun game. And I, I love that this one, it's, uh, you can play local co-op on it. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty cool to add to Metrovania. Y es eso, es un luchador. Y <laughs> it's just fun. pretty cool. It's a fun game. In yes. our way, right? Just the way it looks, the story. It never takes itself too serious. It's fun. It's fun all the way. Y el game arte. Wow. Chicken is definitely fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is like a naturally remade game, some kind of stuff like that in the multiverse. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. I love it. And the art is just beautiful. Like the like it's the same that we're gonna we're gonna be talking about it with Hollow Knight too. But yeah. like the the background of like this game, like the detail in the background, it's beautiful. Like you could look you can stare at the background. And like the layers of it, and you can see all the little details that they added, and patterns, and it's it's really nice. It is especially the second part. Oh, yeah. Guacamole too. Yes. Yeah. They upped the game really hard in the in the art. Yeah, that is true. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's just fun, right? It's colorful. It's like you can be and yeah. you play the game, and you feel happy. You feel happy. Oh yeah. The humor yeah. is on point. Like it's it's a un luchador y you just want to become the best luchador and be amazing. Like that's all he's targeting in life. <laughs> and just go <laughs> through. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. You can be a chicken. You can be a chicken. You can you can just be a chicken, be guys. A chicken. Who doesn't <laughs> want to be a chicken? I mean that's a big highlight because the combat is really intense with the chicken. Yes. It is. <laughs> But yeah, definitely local co-op is a big plus. Uh, is still Metrovania. The combat mechanics have a lot of puzzles um, that need to to use. If if you have more than one player, it start getting harder because you need to cooperate and actually synchronize some areas. Like start changing from light red or blue, and one kills you, the other one doesn't. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's really really great, great combat as well. Yeah, it's really one thing, it's one thing I noticed for Metrovania is the music. Right? And the music for this one is on point. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> yes. Like you just mentioned in my mind, escuché yeah. la trompetita. The trumpets. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's 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 awesome. Yeah. That's great. Jester yeah, so yeah, dice yeah. en Belagua Camille uno estuvo buenísimo. Le saqué el platinum en PS4. El 2 no me llama tanto la atención, though. Pues el 2 está amazing. So, Jester, si jugaste el primero, I think you should give it a try. Because it is good. Yeah. Um, it was really fun. Especially the chicken. When you become a chicken. Yeah, and the way it starts is kind of cool, too. It's like time passed it and he's like oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so that's one of them um another one is that it's interesting axiom verge um it's, it's kind of more into the metroid side of things yeah it's it a pure so. copy yeah yeah it's <laughs> it's and and that's his I mean, that was his main. That was a goal. Yeah. That was a goal. Yeah. That was a goal. That was... Pero, if we go back to the developer, the whole thing in gigantic teams. Yes. Yep. I understand that this was a very small one person. Team. It was a one person. It was one just person. him. He, he hizo just todo para este juego. And he went through a lot of hardship to this game. Um, That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's sad, pero. He went through a lot of things for the juego to make it happen, um, and he did. And it was, I mean, it's beautiful and it's well made and it's, it's awesome. It's a good game. Um, 
I know we're not gonna mention too much the second one. <laughs> um, we're not a big fan of the second one. But I would have with the second one. I don't I didn't even know there was a second one. There's no, a second no, one. no there's not. To there's to Tower's eyes, there is not a second one. <laughs> Thrones, I no, guess to me no too, because I did not even know. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's, it's like no, Game of Thrones. I love you. I love that your content, but dude, no, man. There's no second one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I won't even look for it. I mean, yeah, just compralo y dan la quina to, to support them, but all. <laughs> support them. Just... It, it looks great in, in, in a stand or something. And, uh, Whatever you were, you put your things. Wherever you put your things. <laughs> Wherever you put your things. On the memory of the So, so yeah, the, the first one, the bosses are epic. It's like, you compare this with Metroid. It's like, okay, he spent a lot of time just <laughs> designing the, the art <laughs> and the combat. I got to read but, this. I'm sorry. <laughs> what's up? Justin. Justin, Justin. anyway. <laughs> Compré el primero dos veces. <laughs> Paso, to support to him. To support him. It's just one the first plus one, place. not equal to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good plan. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on. Have me laugh. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I threw um, you off. I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely. It's like, no, nah, man, the second is horrible. But anyway. <laughs> The first one, I mean, just correlated with Metro, and and it's a it's a gem, you know. I mean, just it's, look at uh, it. Have, yeah. It's a great size. The game doesn't have like too many loose pieces. <clears throat> so I don't want to mention anything bad about the second one, but um, you want to yeah. just do it. <laughs> o- overall, it's great. <laughs> no, I just mentioned everything that is wrong. Um, <laughs> It, it followed the formula perfect, perfectly from Metroid, you know. So some of the doors are locked, not a you know different missile, different weapon upgrade. This one he also added is you know different random weapons. One of them is like a glitch weapon that you can find a uh, glitch spot in the game and use those as as pathways and stuff like that. Um, anyway, it's fun. It's fun. It's a good game. The second yes. one is not. Okay. <laughs> So okay, let's move on. <laughs> 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 Megan, uh, no, I really love Action Verge, and I was hoping and have a high expectation about the second one, and that's it. That that's what I'm mentioning this, but otherwise, you know, Action Verge, the first one is is amazing. I recommend it. It is. So yeah, if everybody having tried the first one, try that first one, guys. Try the first one. Support the artist. <laughs> <laughs> Try them both. I mean, it, it was it's playable. It's not for them though. But anyway, let's go to <laughs> next one, which is oh my god, Ori. Ori. It's, Ori. Oh, Beautiful. I love Ori. It's gorgeous. Love it. And it's I cried. so good. And I cry like a baby. The art is amazing. The music was amazing. It's on point. It's definitely one of my favorites. It is. It is definitely yeah. up there. Yeah, I cried. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell, though, like the the the, the movement and the combat and everything of your character is so smooth and beautiful. The art is gorgeous. Everything the art beautiful. Is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I love the the coloring they, and yeah, the they style really of mastered art. the glow. Right? Yes. I mean, I think the whole team and their artists. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell that it's really nice. Yeah, the whole you can tell that the good artists. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> Just they say, my oh. God, yo lloré en el primero en todo el maldito juego. <laughs> <laughs> As we say, we're the top <laughs> Metroidvania. I agree. <laughs> that one is up there. Yep. <clears throat> Amazing game. Amazing art. All the perfect. It's just delivery is perfect. The story is amazing. Everything. I love so it. So deep, deep stories. Deep story, which I can know. How, they know exactly how to like lift you up and then break your heart. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah, like, look like, how beautiful. Like Tower says, you can tell that 
it was made by artists I and mean, you can tell that there's artists who who made this thing it's mm -hmm. beautiful it's gorgeous so like and it's beautiful i'm not gonna see like and, and i know <laughs> oh no go ahead go ahead Sorry. That's what I like about a lot of these style of games is that usually they're very deep in story. Their art is really amazing, and the music always like fits um, so point. cinematically well. It's mm -hmm. yeah, it's just it's like a perfect yeah. blend of everything. Yeah, and I think uh, talking about the the whole team being artists and stuff like that, I know for a fact that the second one. I'm correlating what, what I read about the second one to this one because it's the same thing. Nothing much changed in the structure. Um, and it's not that they're a big team and they're all of them were working remote. Um, so to nail something like this, working remote tells you a lot that they have yeah. perfect communication. They know how to orchestrate the music. They know how to orchestrate these animation sequences. And... Going back to the point of there being more artists than programmers and stuff like that, they're amazing engineers. But they they were using something in Unity um, called Playmaker, mm -hmm. so they don't have to focus much on the programming, and they can focus in the art, animation, music. So they dedicated the manpower and, and the team power to Sorry. their aesthetically artistic stuff instead of coding. Oh, they and worked boom, out perfectly. This is what you got. And and by the way, Playmaker is a great tool that you can do so much without even touching a single line of code. But then eventually you need to go and refactor and, and, and make it your own and do your own touches. Again, I'm not saying that they're not uh, programmers, but they have. They have a great team. No, but so just the challenges of being remote and communicating all this. Uh, and I think there's an interview somewhere. Um, the project manager talking about these challenges and, and it's and it's amazing what they actually managed to deliver it is now that you say that that's even even cooler i didn't know that part <laughs> that's amazing i i like it Jaster uh, dice el dog was fun la música la tengo en mi personal playlist y los boss battles um, fueron epicos. 10 out of 10. Yes. So, yeah. And, and toda la música también. It's very everything. I mean, yeah. No sé qué decir. It's just so good. Really good. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, right. last but not least. Hollow Knight. <laughs> okay, how long is it's really fun. It's amazing. I mean, I like to like to have a game that's that like why do I okay, I hear myself twice, but I apologize people if you hear an echo. Um to be such a dark game, like the art style is beautiful. It is because it, everything is very gray styled, you know, it's there's not much color to it. It's just a lot yeah. of them, like some illumination and glowing effects and stuff like that. Um, but like also the background of this game, you can see the little details, like the layering of everything in the background. It's top to done. Yes, the layers were amazing. Like oh, I, yeah. I remember the first time I got it, I spent like ten minutes just going back and forth looking at the layers. Yeah, they have so many layers, and they just blend it perfectly. It was amazing. It's like wow. yeah, they have a great parallax effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Another not just for the background, but the foreground too. Oh yeah, it's yes. it's amazing. They did perfect. Yeah, and the character is so simple and memorable yet... too, right? Simple and. Even though it's like so simple, it's beautiful. Yeah. What I do yeah, love that... about this game is that it's very challenging too, which is what I think. Yes, it's not an easy yeah. game. It's not an easy game. Boss fights are challenging. Um, you're going to get frustrated a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to race quit a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't finish it. I'd rage quit. <laughs> yeah, and, and they they kept doing updates. Uh, the other day that I was playing on PS5. I mean, the PS4 game I just upload uh, downloaded again, and it had all the new updates. Then I'm like, what the hell is this? I don't remember. You know, it's been a long time since the game came out, and last time I played it. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of new stuff to race with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I don't know if I gotta see this. And, and the map and the map was amazing too. I love how creative they got with uh, trust. the traveling. Yeah, traveling. Yes, it's perfect, right? The the the, the thing. yeah, I don't know how to call it, but. I'm... The bot, whatever it was crazy. Like you can hear it coming through the tunnel. Yeah, it's so I love that and the bell. I see. Um, I love that. <laughs> that was awesome. Jester dice fun fact: En cuanto a los colores usaron color, yeah, contra, con, contrastes opuestos en el espectro para resaltar muchas yes, áreas: blue, yeah. orange, purple, yellow. Yeah, that is yeah. true. Because, like, the whole scene is usually blue, and then, like, the action was always, like, with that little tinge of orange yes. and stuff. Yep. Yeah. And that is awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, That's yeah. Perfect. I think... And the music, too, perfect. amazing. Very deep and feels like... It takes you to that little dark, hollow place. Y, mm -hmm. y todos los detalles también, like, si se cae, cuando se caían los little coins, you could hear the echoey effect completely. No sé, como que todo era, se sentía el vacío en el cuarto. Yes. I like that. Yes. Okay, so what yeah. do you guys... I mean, it's a game with bugs and it didn't look gross. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them were crying, though. <laughs> That's why I gave it a 20 out of 10. <laughs> That's perfect score. We know Chester really likes this. Yeah. Chester's not very good at math, but he knows it, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What else you no, I, I think, yeah, I like yeah, it. I really like the game. In my list, I think Ori is first. Pero Halo is like right there, close second. I feel like it's up there both together. Yeah. I think so. I think oh. what I like about Ori is more like it's it's more straightforward. You know, it's 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 supposed to take you on a journey. Hollow Knight, you're supposed to suffer a little bit. And you're supposed to get <laughs> challenged by it, you know? So yeah. I like both elements, so they're right there on the top list. And June is supposed to come out the second one. Do you guys think it's going to be as good as the first one was? Or I think so. I don't think they can go wrong anymore. Like They've got the elements. Yeah. They got what Lock they need. Wood. Lock on wood. Don't be... Now, <laughs> considering we're not allowed to discuss the second parts of some other games we've mentioned here, I don't know. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But this is a whole team, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm going to like it. Yeah, love it. So yeah. we can wrap up, I guess, right? <laughs> we can wrap it up. Yeah, this is like perfect. I mean, perfect way to end it. I don't like Hollow Knight. Okay, 20 guys. out of 10. I have a few games <laughs> that I can recommend before oh, wrapping up. Mentions. Not rule mentions. Uh -huh. Yeah. But. So on my list, not in specific order, but games I will definitely recommend is Blasphemous, uh, Castlevania, Portrait Ruin. That's from Nintendo DS. Uh, Paxanadu. That's uh, Nintendo. Def Gambit. That's I think in all console. Action Verve, um, Dust, and Elysian Tale. Ooh, that's that's uh, digital. And Xbox and um, PlayStation, I believe. Astalon, Tears of Earth. That one I played on on Steam. But I think it's on Switch. And, and it's a really well done uh, Metroidvania. Mm -hmm. And the last one, Shadow Complex. That was made from Epic. I have not um, heard so of that one. Kind of old right now, but Shadow Complex is just a Metroidvania, similar to Metroid in a sense, but it's more realistic. It's like spies and stuff like that, modern machinery, you know, tanks. Ooh, nice. But it's 
still the same fragment of matter, the same thing. So, oh, nice. I remember I, games in there. you did mention Desolation too, and I remember that one. That was a beautiful game. Oh, that one I remember, yeah. That one, I think the artist was from Disney, I think. I think it, so. There was something that someone from Disney it is very did cool. the art. Like, yeah. yeah. That one's a beautiful game, yeah. The comeback from that game was amazing. I, I love it. Oh, yeah. Argo. It was fun. Uh, Ender Lilies is also very nice. It has more of like that Hollow Knight feel. Oh, and the music is amazing on that one. Yeah. There's so many good games. <laughs> So at Astalon, Tears of Earth, you have multiple characters to choose from. I mean, not that there's a lot. I think there's four unlockables, but all of them have different abilities. And, and that's the Metrovania aspect. Like one of them will allow you to go farther this way. The other one will allow you to go the other way. And so the game pushes you to use all of them. So it's really cool. Awesome. Nice. Uh, is Ender Lilies worth it? No tengo any wish list, but no many will comprarlo, dice Jaster. <laughs> so that one, I, I think I have the same perspective I have it in my wish list since it came out. I always go back and revisit, like, should I buy it? Should I buy it? Um, so I don't know what to tell you, but I, I'll I, buy I, it eventually. I haven't finished it, so I can't tell you, but I mean, it is fun. I do. What I have played of it, I've enjoyed. So, so Jaster, compro una especial. <laughs> yeah, wait until <laughs> Black Friday and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, guys. That's what I'm waiting for. I have my list for Black Friday. Of <laughs> that's what we're all doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Let's wrap it up. Thank you, Jaster. Gracias por estar por ahí. And uh, James, yeah, también que está por ahí lurking. James. Everybody who's lurking or around, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. You guys. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. You can also find this in other episodes of Chanka Talk on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, and just look us up, guys. Chanka Talk. You're going to find it. Um, so thank you so much. And yeah, uh, we'll be back in a bit with a stream. So see you guys then. Yeah, see you guys. Thank see you, you guys. so much. Thank you. Thank you all.